Yeehaw! It's Nick's wild history of Hollywood's West. be wronged, I won't be insulted. I won't be laid a hand on. I don't do these things to other people. I require the same from them. Based on the novel by Glendon Swart who I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, The Shootist is important in our history of the West because it was the last film to ever star John Wayne. According to legend, he was suffering from cancer at the time of the film's making, mirroring the same character, though my research contradicts this as it claims he went into remission a couple of years after filming. The story is about an old gunslinger who has contracted cancer and is looking for a way to go out with the most dignity and the least pain. It starts off with clips from some of his old movies from when he was young and follows him around as he meets famous old stars like Jimmy Stewart, Lauren Bacall, Richard Boone, and even John Carradine. He makes the final arrangements of his life and bonds with a young boy, sold on the myth of adventure, passing his knowledge on to him and helping him to become a man as he's lost his father and has no one else to turn to. The film is, naturally, a death of the Western film, arguably a sequel to The Searchers, following Wayne's character to his end. But really, it's much more a rumination upon death and all it entails, where we're all heading in the end and how we're gonna get there. This is one of my favorite John Wayne films. It just has a way of pulling me in and making me care about the big son of a bitch like few others could. It's sad when the big guy dies. It really is. And you can tell his end was weighing heavy on the Duke's mind. I find it ironic that this was directed by Don Siegel, who directed Clint Eastwood in many films, including the little one I liked called Dirty Harry. Is it fitting or is it grim that Wayne's rival's friend directed him like it was a true death of the West, allowing for more modern films to take over as the old generation passed? You tell me. It's also said that this film was released to little fanfare, being a flop at the box office, but getting rave reviews from critics. It was a big part of the decline of westerns, but it's been more well received in recent times. I'm glad, because in spirit, the Duke will never die. <laughs>